if you don't wash your hair for say more than a week, then your scalp may start to get oily, uh, dead skin cells may, you may start to get some buildup, some flaking, and that could be an issue for some. So what happens when you don't wash your hair? I know a lot of people out there are, you know, anti-washing our hair, maybe once every, you know, four or five weeks. I, this is my general, like, consensus to this whole thing, right? If you need to wash your hair, wash it. If your hair's dirty, wash it. If you, I mean, that's really what it comes down to. Shampoo is designed to cleanse your scalp, cleanse your hair. Conditioner is designed to help detangle and smooth out and really help the hair shaft so it's a little bit, it's more closed and that it helps seal the hair, making it easier to comb. And so really when it comes, what it comes down to is if you don't wash your hair for a long period of time, it could have the opposite effect of what you think may be helping you, okay? Not washing your hair again. Now, if you're one of those individuals who is currently not washing your hair and seeing benefits from it, please leave comments below on what you find beneficial to not washing your hair, okay? But if, you want, if you're somebody who washes your hair when needed, again, let me know in the comments below, or let everyone else know, what do you see benefits, the pros and cons? So if you, if you go without washing your hair for, let's say a week, the smell of your hair, and, and I know this from firsthand experience when I was a, a, an assistant in hair salons where I would wash you know, hair all the time, and I'd have somebody come in, usually they were senior citizens, you know, and, and she would come in and she'd basically get her hair done once a week. She'd come in, get it washed, get the roller sets, whatever it was, the curling iron set, that would la get it sprayed down with tons of hairspray, and it was like bulletproof for a week. Then she'd come back, time to get the hair washed once a week. I can 100% tell you that when I was washing those heads, aside from the water being very cloudy, grimy, dirty, kind of gross to be honest with you, the smell was sometimes unbearable, okay? Dirty, it's like burnt hair. Burnt hair does not smell pleasant, okay? So it's the same thing with dirty hair. Now, if you're a smoker, if you're, you're in an environment where there's other things around that could actually, let's just say, attach the scent to your hair, then it's like when you smoke cigarettes, which I don't smoke cigarettes, but when you, whatever you smoke, or let's just say you light a candle or incense, it's gonna, that smell is gonna kind of attach itself to you. It's the same thing with hair. And then when you're adding product and hairspray and this and that, it's just gonna, the smell may not be the greatest. So I'm just letting you all know. The dry scalp, okay? If, if you do wash your hair, say, too often, or when you don't need to, it could potentially be stripping your hair of its natural oils. However, if you are using real garbage shampoos that have really bad ingredients, then that could be the issue. I can, I can guarantee the shampoos that I have in my line are very, very high quality. They contain really good extracts and ingredients that actually help promote thicker, healthier hair growth, okay? And I've seen people who have used my shampoos, uh, and I have three different ones, the Volume Set, the Pure Set, and the Hemp Set, all of them. I've seen people use them for the first time, various people, and I go, oh my gosh, your hair looks like amazing, it looks so healthy. Oh, well, it's because I use your shampoo and stuff. I'm like, so when you're using high quality, good ingredients and good products, that makes a difference. If you're going to your local pharmacy uh, or whatever store and buying a, you know, $6.99 shampoo, $6.99 shampoo, chances are it could be harsh on your scalp, all right, because it's loaded with chemicals and stuff. Now, if you don't wash your hair for a long period of time, what could happen is you could start to get buildup and that could start to cause flaking because the oil will start to get more and more built up on your scalp. It'll then start to go onto the ends of your hair. For example, like this mannequin right here, 
the, the oil from the scalp will start to then work its way down and your whole entire head will become very greasy and somewhat oily. Uh, you may start to get, you know, break out maybe, um, acne or something. Uh, it may start to, you know, you may start to get some, uh, I don't say scabbing, but flaking maybe. Um, you may start, th weird things may start to happen to your hair. The, the pores are gonna get clogged. Your hair may take a little bit longer to, um, to grow. So I always say, wash your hair as needed, once every two days, all right? If your hair gets really dirty and you need to wash it and you're taking good care of it, you know, you're healthy, good diet, you're fine. If your hair looks fine, your scalp looks fine, then you're okay. <laughs> But if you try to experiment because the internet tells you you shouldn't wash your hair and weird things start to happen or the smell is unbearable, or you're like, oh my gosh, my hair is so weighed down because oily hair, trust me, again, I've been a professional for over 30 years. I've seen this firsthand. I know a lot of you like to say, but you're bald. Okay, yes, I shave my head clearly, but I've worked on thousands of clients over the years. And what happens is when the hair gets really oily, it becomes very flat. It's the worst thing you can do if you've got fine hair or thin hair uh, because that oil and, th and that, that buildup is just gonna weigh the hair down. It's gonna make your scalp look even more, uh, your hair look even finer. You're gonna be able to see your scalp more. It's gonna weigh it down. It's gonna spread the hair and make it thinner looking. So I really don't suggest it, especially on super fine hair. So yeah, that that's, What's gonna happen if you don't wash your hair? It just, you may start to see some weird things happening. On the flip side, like I said, I wanna call out all of you who don't wash your hair. What's your hair smell like after a week or two weeks? <laughs> I'd, I'd love to know. I wouldn't wanna smell it, but I'd love to know. Dry shampoo, how does a dry shampoo help? Well, that could kind of help camouflage and soak up some of the oils. That's why dry shampoos exist. So, you know, it really, again, it really depends on you uh, it depends on really what is working best for your hair and for your scalp. Please let me know in the comments below if you are doing one or the other. Are you a regular washer and conditioner of your hair or do you just don't wash your hair for a long period of time? Let's get as many comments as possible. I'd love to know. If you do want to purchase any of my shampoos and conditioners, you can use code YouTube20. That's YouTube20 at shop.theslonga.com. Once again, Happy New Year and I'll see you soon.